you caught me right in the middle of working on a story for the Beacon. Can't believe this. But as you know, usually at this time, and I'm pulling down my mask here, uh, I wouldn't recommend a beard for a mask. It just really doesn't work. But at this time of year, we usually do photos with Santa. Unfortunately, that is impossible with the Beacon this year. But <clears throat> we have been following what's going on in the community, and particularly what Frank Bacosi is doing with his light show display. It's up, it's running, it's a great show this year. And if you haven't seen it, I'd certainly suggest you swing by his home, take a look, and enjoy it, because it really brings Christmas spirit out. But one thing that Frank is concerned about is that people gathering outside of the house will in some way, uh, could be dangerous, could be not entirely safe. So he's recommending that people stay in their cars, or if they do get out, stay in family groups in front of the house. An outcome that he fears is that this is going to mean reduced contributions and donations to the Tomorrow Fund. What we're doing at the Beacon is we want to help that cause. And now until the end of the year, every new subscription, $10 from every new subscription will go to the Tomorrow Fund. So you get two things. One, obviously, you're going to be helping the Tomorrow Fund. Two, you'll be up on all the local news throughout the year whether you're in Cranston or Warwick. And who knows, if you've got a puppy these days, a lot of people are doing that with the pandemic, you've got something to pick up afterward, should that be the case. Anyway, please visit us on our website, get the details, or click on the attached link, take you right to the, the page, and you can sign up Start getting local news for the next year, same time, help the Tomorrow Fund, and who knows, let's hope that next year we're back with Santa and with me taking the photographs of all the kids enjoying their visit with Santa. Merry Christmas.